What we're going to do now is break into our groups. You're going to be given straws and marshmallows. And you are going to put some triangles together, but not any old way. They have to be similar. So you're going to have three triangles when you're finished. You're going to start with the first triangle, and then you are going to create another triangle. The second triangle is going to have a scale factor of two. Let's listen to Lois Mosley as she discusses the strategies used by Dolly Schwallard to introduce one form of ratio, scale factor, to her middle school students. Then we will listen as Dollar herself talks about the various instructional approaches she uses. There's a special name for this number that tells you how many times larger you're making something or how many times smaller you're making something. And that word is called a scale factor. It's important as a teacher to let the students know that what they're learning in school has an application outside of the classroom. What would be an advantage to having a model? What's the purpose of models and who uses models? Yes, Donna. Architects. Architects. Dollar is trying to show the students that you really do use this notion of proportional reasoning and ratio in real life. And she's talking about scale models of homes and this is a replica of a regular size SUV that we do scale things up and we scale them down, and there's some mathematics that supports how this gets done. All right, we're going to check to see if this triangle increased by the same scale factor. So let's check it out here. Dolly is bringing the real world into the classroom, saying this may be something you're interested in. You may want to go into architecture, or you may want to go into the automobile manufacturing business. They use mathematics. Many times students aren't aware of the broad applications of mathematics in real life because they're not in the work world. What I'm going to do is have some of you come on up and share what you discovered when you did these in your groups, and I'm going to just ask you a few questions. The fact that she allowed the students to come up with their own triangles, it said to them, this will work with anything that I make or anything that's out there in real life, not just the one the teacher had on the board. This is an excellent lesson for students because I think it brings about the point that there are some processes and skills in mathematics that will work in a variety of situations. So they see the broad application of a process. If I learn how to enlarge, I learn how to reduce by using that process that's just been taught then I can use it in a variety of ways. Listen now as Darla talks about the effects of using manipulatives and cooperative groups. The real train has real wheels. Take a look on the very front. Similar to a real birdhouse? Okay. Are the tires on this the same as a real PT Curls use, but the rest of the body is just real tiny, like a model? No. All the parts got smaller uh, in proportion to the real cruiser. I think it's important to trigger what they have learned in previous class periods so that I have something to build on. What would the fraction be that tells us the scale factor for this side? Half. One half, exactly. And that way they can refer to the prior knowledge that they have, and then we can go from there and, and add on to... Thank <laughs> you.